Hello, welcome or welcome back to my channel, Genjoy Plans. Today I have my July monthly spread to share with you. And this is something I typically do off camera. But every once in a while I like to throw in a monthly on my channel. In case you are a monthly kit, like a monthly video watcher. Um, or just here for any and all sticker content. I am definitely in that second category. Um, also, once again, sorry if you can hear Sadie with her bone. It is literally comical how this happens every single time. She is like fast asleep. And as soon as I start my voiceover, she's constantly like, where's a bone? I must chew it. So I might have to walk away here. But um, I'm using this seaside kit from Pink Planner Shop, which is a printable shop. And I try to do my monthlies pretty early in advance. Like I really should sit down and do my August one too. Um, but here we are. I'm a little late to this. I printed this printable like way back when this art first came out. And I was like decided that I wasn't going to use this as one of my regular summer kits. I was just going to use it for a monthly because I kind of was feeling like it was a little too similar to the Glam Planner July was it July Mystery last year called Cobalt Coast? They're both Solis Studio Art and they're both shades of blue and kind of like beach sailing. Different but similar. So I was like, oh, I'm using Cobalt Coast, so I'm not going to use this kit. Anyways, turns out, like once I printed it, I was like, uh, this Cobalt Blue is unreal, like unreal. And I decided it was going to need to be in my collection. And I was going to like use it for when I go to Norway which is my plan that you will see in my August kit lineup. Um, my plan is to have my videos still go up per regular, like per normal, even when I am gone and I'm trying to get ahead of my videos. So if you have any requests, I know I still need to do a printable sticker kit like that has been requested for a long time. I'm just, just don't know how to do it. I feel like I need to screen record, but... I don't know how to do that, which is probably a bad thing. It's probably a skill I should learn how to do. So anyways, I will get to that. But if you have any other requests, let me know down below. But July is a very busy month for me. And I also, in my monthlies, like to plan like my videos. And this is kind of where I can see like all my videos for the month and like content plan that way. Um, and that's just personally what works the best for me. I won't have that, but I'll have all the rest of my plans featured in this video, but, um, not any of my videos, but you will see them as they come up, you know? Um, I'm really excited because starting next month, I will be in my rings planner, which will be my first time using a rings planner and the monthlies are formatted the right way. The sidebar is on the right side, like everybody. So I won't have to do all of that, like slicing and dicing that I have to do to fit it into this current planner. Um, and the sizing will be better. So I am looking forward to that. It's going to be weird saying goodbye to spiral planning because spiral planning is literally all that I'm used to. It is what I have done like since I joined the community. So it's been, you know, like five, six years that I've used a spiral planner. Six, seven? I don't know. Um, fun fact, I got my first spiral planner, like the Erin Condren, back when I was in college and I had broken up with my high school boyfriend and it was, I called it my breakup planner because it was like crazy expensive. Well, like it seemed really expensive at the time. Like I wasn't really into it. Like I didn't even know the world of stickers. I just used it as my like school planner and I just needed something for like the whole day so I could time block out with like washi strips. And I wish I could find that old planner. I think I threw it away just with like all the memories, but, um, <laughs> that sounds terrible. Tossed all the memories away, but, um, yeah, anyways, nonetheless, that is how I originally got in to the world of spiral planning was because it was like my breakup purchase and everybody's like, you paid how much for a planner? And that was like my excuse. I'm like, it was my breakup purchase. <laughs> some people cut their hair, some people go on a trip, some people buy a planner, like a $70 planner when you're in college. So 
guilty. Um, but it's nonetheless, so, nonetheless, I am very thankful to be part of this community and so glad that I just tripped into this hobby. So yay for life changes um, and being impulsive in your 20s. <laughs> so yeah, for this month, like I said, it's a really busy month. Um, I did lay out all my boxes for my content planning. Um, and then I'm just kind of marking in. We are kind of going in and out um, of town this this month. Um, one, I will leave for my Europe trip at the very end of the month. But kind of in the meantime on the weekends and for the first like week um, of July, I'll be at the lake with my family. And then we'll kind of, my husband and I will be going to Lake one other time. Um, So lots of driving back and forth. Hence me marking that drive home with my McPlans little sticker. And for my monthly, I try to just use leftover stickers. Um, So you'll see me just pulling in leftover stickers. And then I'm also pulling in this blue foil like doodle sheet and it's from plan with me stickers it was part of the monthly doodle drop which is her monthly doodle subscription um every month she has like a new colorway new theme and she sneaks it on her instagram and last month it was kind of like beach themed um and it came with like 10 or more exclusive doodles which were so cute and the colorway was right up my alley and then she threw in, I think it was like four foiled doodles. Like it was the same sheet, just in four different foil colors. I think we got like hollow, sparkly, hollow, gold, and then this poolside blue, which was super fun. And it matches that cobalt color so perfectly. So I don't personally use a lot of foil in my weekly planner. Well, I have like, I stumble saying that because I have been using a lot more foil, which has been so fun, but I don't use, one of the things I don't use is foil scripts or foil like doodle icons. So you will notice that I have upped my underlay and overlay game, but scripts, I like to keep all black, especially like my McPlans font one scripts and stuff. Um, and then I really like my doodles and character stickers. So yeah, anyways, I thought it'd be fun to, since I don't pull them in for my weekly to pull it in for the monthly. And like I said, the color matched so perfectly. It was just like, it was inevitable. I had to use it. And I really like that. I think I'm definitely going to be doing this for monthly subscriptions, like, or for this kind of like use. And if you are somebody that uses foil like doodles like this, let me know because I do have it, like I said, in sparkly, hollow, and in hollow, and I believe gold is the other color. If I'm just going off the top of my head, I'm not at my desk right now to see. But if you are somebody that would totally use these stickers, send me a message on Instagram with your address and I will send it to you for free because I would love for them to go to good use. They are adorable stickers Um, and I have the doodle forms of them, which fills my sticker loving heart. Um, And yeah, I'd love to give the foiled ones to somebody that would use them but you can kind of see them here in action to get a sneak peek about what you would get on the sheet. Anyways, um, this month, like I said, is a really busy month. So since I am going to Europe for like two and a half weeks in August, and then I basically start school as soon as I come back, I decided that I probably couldn't work a regular job. And so I'm trying to let myself rest and recover this summer. I was working myself way too much, way, way too much (laughs) during this school year. And part of that is like having a new job and being in a new work environment. And another part is me just being really hard on myself. And um, since it's like not my first year teaching, but first year at a new school and new grade and just like different dynamics, I was just yeah really hard on myself and worked myself way too much. And I wasn't able to give myself to the people that I really care about and um, like to the hobbies that I love. So I was definitely feeling extreme burnout and I knew that if I worked like a regular job and came into the school year, I would just be like running on that same burnout and that's not healthy, especially when you're in a job that you have to give like so much in person. Um, 
yeah, like being, I know there's so many jobs that you are, that are like that, but like being a teacher, especially to seven year olds, like you are on all the time, like all the time. There is no downtime. There's barely time to eat lunch. And if it is, then it's with kids or it's on the road, like on the road, on the way to like make copies or in a meeting with your admin or like stuff like that. And so it's just, you know, really exhausting. And then you stay super late at school to do the things that you didn't get done that piled up on your desk and start the day all over again. Um, So yeah, I know there's so many jobs out there that are like that so I don't want to complain too much but trying to focus on giving myself some time this summer however teachers don't make enough money so I need to make some kind of income so I decided to tutor this summer and I'm just tutoring for like five weeks I gave myself fourth of July week off so I could be with my family at the lake which I'm so thankful that I did that. And um, so I have a couple kids that I'm tutoring. I really did not advertise it. There's so many things I do differently, but I was so burnt out that I basically just sent it to the families in my class and left it at that and called it a day. And so I have a couple kids that I'm tutoring and all of them I know really well. So it's fun. Um, And like two of the kids definitely don't need to be tutored. Their parents are just using it as a time to just kind of like keep their skills sharp going into the next year and to work on some social things, which is fantastic, but I love it. Um, especially like I said, since they're, they're my kids from this past year, it's fun to just like pick up where we left off. Um, and yeah, so that's kind of like a way that I'm able to make some extra money, but it's really filling up July. Um, like I said, there's things that I would definitely do different and I tried to stack my days, but I didn't stack them too well. So they're kind of all spaced out for tutoring. And then um, I have my best friend's baby shower. She's coming into town for that. Like I said, we're going to the lake a lot. The, um, there's a couple shows coming out, like Sweet Magnolia Season 3. If you watch that show, let me know. Although we do share a Netflix account with my in-laws. And I think that is now like finally done for. So... We might have to officially get our own Netflix account. (laughs) And then The Summer I Turn Pretty Season 2 comes out as well, which is just, like, cute. And I'm excited. I can watch. I need to rewatch those. I am somebody who likes to rewatch. I try to rewatch. Let me know if you do that as well. Although it does get hard when you have, like, multiple seasons. Um, Thankfully, like, those, both of those shows don't have, like, multiple, I mean... Sweet Magnolias has two seasons, but they're only like 10 episodes. So it's very, very manageable, but I would love to try to do that and try to binge watch those before, uh, before my trip, but we will see about that. That maybe is too big of a commitment. Um, and then I know the week leading up to my trip is going to be super busy with just like last minute errands. I do have a hair appointment, but if you have any packing like advice or tips. I have never traveled abroad, like over to Europe. So if there's things that you are, if you've been or you've heard and you think I should know about, hit me up, let me know because I need to start planning and buying those things. Anyways, thank you so much for watching my July monthly. I will catch you in my next video. Bye everyone.